Within the context browser options, you can pull data from available smart objects into many of the workflow wizards that allow for smart fields to be dropped into them. In this example, I have the beginnings of a customer order processing workflow, and I want to customize the folio that appears for this process in the K2 workflow and reports throughout the system by using the set folio workflow step. I have already dropped this step on the canvas and added some text inside the folio text box along with the customer order number from the item reference of a SharePoint list record that starts the workflow. I also want to add the customer name to the folio field to help provide more information about the task for users that need to fulfill an order. This field lives in a customer list in my SharePoint environment and for this example I'll access it through a smart object method call. We can open the context browser by clicking on the context browser icon in the upper right of the workflow designer. Then select the smart objects context tab at the bottom right of the page to get to the available smart objects in the K2 environment. I do need to drill down into the SharePoint 2013 site category to locate my customers list smart object. We can see a list of all the methods for this smart object. In this reference, I want to open up get list item by ID and grab the full name field and drag it over to the folio field text box where I'll drop it in between the square brackets. Next, because this is the get list item by ID smart object method, K2 is going to prompt me for the ID input parameter that links to the customer record that I want because it is a mandatory input. I can get that from the customer order item reference over on the fields context tab. From here, I can drag the customer ID field over. Then we can close the smart field editor to go back to the set folio step. That's pretty much all you need to do when you want to use values from smart objects within workflow steps like this one. Keep in mind, you can use values from any type of data source set up as a smart object. You may be prompted for method input parameters when doing this. Be sure to have a reference to values that can be used as inputs for these method calls when you're designing your workflows. When this process kicks off, the set folio step will fire and update the instance folio with information about a customer order, including the customer's name from the smart object I just configured. Shown here is the folio field as it appears in the SharePoint K2 Worklist web part, the process instance report, and the K2 workspace view for users.